Welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys a little magic mask tip and background defocus. Took this clip here that you've seen on a previous video with this penguin and defocused the background, desaturated it, and isolated him. So let's jump over to the color page and see how we did that. Now one tip is to put your magic mask on your first node and then that way it will cache any of the tracking upstream in the nodes. Because if you have this further down and you make a change with color, it's going to have to recache things. So if you put it first in the order of operations, once it's done tracking and has its parameters set, you don't have to mess with it again. So I've been able to do some manipulations with this tracked already just off one single track and never have to go back to that node. If uh, you guys haven't seen that, I started with the first frame here, grabbed the qualifier, did a single stroke on the back of this penguin. It looked pretty good as far as isolation, just tracked it forward and backward. I really didn't do anything else and this is on faster, it's not even on better. So you can get some nicer results with better. It just takes a little bit longer to process and will bog down your system a little bit more, but normally you'll get a quite a bit cleaner of a key. And then I dropped background defocus and hooked those up and it pretty much looked how I wanted it to after I desaturated it with the effect. Now for the background defocus, this is another studio only. So I typed in background, drop that on the second node, add the video output to the video in and the key to take the key information from the magic mask into this background node. And then essentially you can blur the mask, do some contrast, and here's where I just desaturated it. So it's kind of a cool effect if you want to isolate your subject. There's also a colorize function if you wanted to colorize the background to a separate color. And then your blur strength is here too. But with the batch mask and the background defocus, it does a pretty good job. And you can also preview your mask here or down in the key and make some adjustments if you need to on the mask. And then there's some global options for blur type. We get rid of the preview. You can change how the blur looks and whether it's interacting with highlights or not and then the typical global blend. So that's how you can desaturate and isolate using Magic Mask. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.